for watching my videos and you are getting a lot of help and today we will be discussing a very common topic that generally we face during our sport environment most of the people who are working as a fresher or maybe with limited year, limited years of experience maybe two years or three years it will be helpful for you so <coughs> today i'm going to discuss on how to check the long running jobs in the system and what are the actions you should take and what should be the troubleshooting steps i will be guiding you so for the long running jobs first you need to go to sm37 here so always whenever you see there is a long running job okay you need to put the username and all so long running means is always the job is delayed by any chance maybe your work process is not available or because of some other reasons like maybe memory having some issues and other things so because of those issues you face a problem kind the job is long running so <coughs> i don't have right now any long running job but anyways so just example one of the job that you can see this one okay so this is for one of the product one of the job that has been created so this is completed so whenever you see there is a delay right so when the delay time is huge for any job then in that case you can say that the job is delayed or job is long running okay so in general what happens whenever you want to see any job is long running first click on the job first you will be getting the process id so whenever you go to the job details here you will be getting this work process number and the process id here okay this is your process id which is assigned uh, for your sid adm process and this is your actual work process that has been assigned out of number of work process you have set up in the system you will be seeing the work process count here so simply i will be in that case <coughs> for any job this job is completed so it's not relevant i'm just showing you right now so go to sm50 here so from there you can go to that job suppose the work process number is 13 example or 10 whatever it is suppose i'll just see this so in this column in this row you can see this one here you will be seeing which is the program that is running in this for the work process okay and what action has been taken here i mean in which client and which is the user id is doing it so simply you want to know more on that just double click on the process id here so when you select the work process number here so what will happen just in a second yeah so if you just select the work process id here so here you can see if any db statistics are getting updated so the moment your job is running okay in that case so the job would be doing some operation in your database okay so because through the application your data is being stored in the database so for that reason you need to check if the sequential read is getting updated or not the moment you refresh it these numbers would change it means there is some operation going on or it could be insert it could be update it could be delete because these are the some functions that has been done by the program which is included in the job so if you see it is being updated so you just need to wait because the job is running and it is still doing something in the database so you don't need to cancel it in this case if some sometime if you see the even you refresh it the counts are not changing because the sequential read and the insert re insert and update any of the process are not changing it means the job is doing nothing just got a hung so it is in a hung state so for that reason just identify the work process suppose this is my work process number 8 let's go back just select the work process here and go to cancel work process then you just cancel okay so you will be seeing this uh, option in the cancel with core and without core so if you just select with core and without core based on that with core means the log will be created without core means the log will not be created so that is something you need to know or else you can also cancel the job from the suppose you will be logged into the system here okay so suppose let me log into the server okay so here suppose i will try to find the process example always check with the process id guys because if you are checking with the os level the process id should be like this 9120 or something okay so just okay so there is no process running at this point of time because the job is already completed but in your case what are you going to do you just need to kill the process kill hyphen 9 you can forcefully kill this one give the process id so this process id once you give it right it will terminate the job immediately you don't need to worry about it so that's how you will handle the background jobs if the job is long running the first task is to identify if job is doing something or not if the program which is included or the variant which is configured in the job so <coughs> is the program doing something in the like is it doing some any operation insert or update or delete so then you need to wait let it complete and sometime if the memory get exhausted what will happen automatically the background job will be terminated because once the memory got exhausted right your work process will be restarted because it's a in a background work process first your heap memory will be used then the extended memory 
then the work process will be restarted because of the memory issue okay so that is more or less on the how to check the background jobs in the system and how to uh, quickly check the long running job and qu quickly can take the action so that's all for today guys and thank you so much for watching the video and keep subscribing odia engineer and please share it across so that all the people and all the community members who is part of our basis and hana fraternity they can be benefited out of this videos so thank you have a great day